What morning show is back in the building And I'm gonna tell you We back in the building after the holiday The holy day The holy day <laughs> The holy day <laughs> Of Native American yeah, rape so fat, <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny This is This is the aftermath of Native American raping day That's it <laughs> How about some smallpox Ooh in exchange for survival skills. <laughs> <laughs> how about <laughs> how about some rape? Yes. <laughs> how about I rape all of you? Not just the women and children, all of you. In exchange for your land. Here's for a deal. your land. Here's a deal. I'm gonna come and kill everybody and take your land on three. Ready? Break. <laughs> I will sit and learn as an eager student and then until I have consumed all of what you know. And then you know <laughs> what must happen after that. I, I must what, destroy what, you. What must happen? It is in my nature to destroy, but not until I learn everything. Please teach me. Teach me all that you know. So that I may destroy So I can life. say <laughs> And when I kill you somebody I'll say Ladies and gentlemen We're back in the building You already oh, know what it is The Zo What Morning Show She you walk past me in that sundress I like to see It's about to go down You know uh this year, man, just flew by really quickly. Sure did. Another and one gone, one gone, shit, one before you know it, it's 2019. 19 years after Y2K. Wow. God damn. Everybody was supposed to be dead. Yeah. Computers were supposed <laughs> to. I'm Hal. Your VCR wasn't supposed to work. Open the door, Hal. Let us back in. You know we can't breathe after 10 seconds. That's too bad. Too bad, human. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the building. We've got a great topic. You're listening to Dash Talk <clears throat> X. <clears throat> I'm Zoe Williams. This is the Zoe What Morning Show. Jeff Brown, comedian, actor, writer, overall irritant, extraordinaire <laughs> in the building, along with the wordsmith. Kevin Barringer <laughs> of the Highland Barringers <laughs> of the Highland Barringers. Everything goes back to Moorish knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything. It was the Moors who created butter. Almost everything. It was the Moors who created cotton. <laughs> they created air. It was the Moors the who water created you drink. milk. <laughs> the food you ate. 
It was the moss who created the almond. Okay. We created nothing, but we, we created had... shoestrings. No, we didn't. It was the moss who created belt buckles. The moss. The moss. Damn those moss. If they created nothing, they are suddenly in charge of the baby calf. It was the moss who created eyeliner. Who created porn. 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 What do you porn. think a harem is? A harem porn. is a porno. Porn. The porn. private porn. No one was hitting from the back until the moors came along. No one had the length. No one had the length to hit from the back until the moors. It was the moors who created from the style. We were just a bunch of pop outs. Oh, shit. It was the moors. It was the moors. It was the moors who created light. It was the moths who made the women like sneezing. Women used to hate sneezing. You know why? <laughs> because when they would sneeze, our penises would pop out. The moths wow. came along. Wow. What? There was no popping up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where, where did that go? <laughs> and then, of course, the homeboy is in the house. He has on a slightly less <laughs> looser, <laughs> looser shirt. You can't even use loose. Your clothes are either tight or less tight. That's just less tight. Ladies and gentlemen, he's, <laughs> he's got rapidly being recognized across the country as TTT. Triple T. Triple T. Triple T. Timmy Taita. <laughs> he either yeah. is about to start or just got through <laughs> doing 10,000 push-ups. We juice in the building. 10,000 push-up yeah. challenge. So uh, let's get it started. It's Cyber Monday. Ooh. So I expect everybody to really right. get in here and support yeah. this channel by hitting the super chat. Or you can go PayPal. Z.O. Williams orders... PayPal at gmail.com zo williams orders at gmail.com uh i need you guys to really make a dent on the holographic relationship pre-orders because i'm gonna tell you right now 25 chapters the story is complete we just have to place eight vignettes throughout the chapter it's really gonna be dope i want to hit uh i want to shout out wise one on our youtube channel uh, he said, let's get it. Zoe, please don't forget the Dash Radio replay schedule. I need to figure that. Uh, we got replays for Zoe What Morning Show, right? I just need to know what they are. Adita, please remind me <laughs> to send out a tweet or or maybe even on the YouTube page. Let people know what the Zoe What Show replay order is. Because I know it plays maybe twice throughout the week. So we'll do that for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Thank you for reaching out, uh, Wise One. He hit us with $20 on the Super Chat. Anybody that I see hit us uh, on Super Chat, I'm going to shout you out. Super so Chats. everybody should get at us today. Also, Cyber Monday. Cyber companies like WeJuice.com, like TotalPackage.com, you guys have got to show up tired right. of free knowledge that's right real because we really we really about to lay this shit out here today yes. today to shut motherfuckers up like jeff brown because <laughs> <laughs> jeff brown be bitching and complaining a little bit me and me and kev he called he basically called us hoarders at some point <laughs> of information of information that wouldn't make us dragon moles, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, we're going to shut people like Jeff up today. And Jeff, I swear for Jesus and all them white folk in heaven, if your ass, <laughs> if your library don't expand like your belly. <laughs> like you know it. It. He's pretty thin right now, though. Yeah, that's because he, <laughs> you know, he's a, he got a bougie diet. <laughs> you know, one day, I had a, one day I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it got stuck. <laughs> 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 Nigga, what kind of tender innards? <laughs> it was a cheese steak she from Max's. I was in Philly. I had a cheese steak at Max's. It was the best fucking sandwich. The only thing I've ever had in my mouth that tastes better than that sandwich was vagina. I we am telling you, the sandwich was unbelievable, and it got stuck in my intestines. We're going to call you I tender innards. Shit and cheese. My shit was looking like cheese. 
string cheese, <laughs> and I didn't know what to do, so I started just eating vegetables and cleansing myself. And pretty <laughs> soon, I started. I felt good, and uh, uh, I go. was more oh, alert. Wow. I was right. clearer. That's right. Uh, uh, I needed less sleep. I started shitting five times a day. <laughs> I said, this, and I'm not going back. So, yeah. hey, can I enjoy? Can I bon app a can I, tea? Can I say it again? Yes, sir. yes. Tender innards. <laughs> Tender innards. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Ain't gonna be no hold of the boco shot around my bed. I can tell you that. I think I ate something. Is there a tomato seed in there? Oh my god. Something stuck. Uh, his innards just had enough. Dude, I'm get so them glad. baby innards out of here. <laughs> that is the best <laughs> thing that ever could have happened. That's oh. enough, nigga. Enough. All right, so somebody just said it again. So let me correct a lot of people. Total Package Energy just got all of their orders. They're trying to catch up on their orders, all right? They sold out of everything. Rob, Relax. ABN, Rob, ABN in the chat room. They sold out of everything. They reordered. They just got that order in. So everybody who pre-ordered Mr. Two Weeks Ago is still getting their orders shipped out. Relax. You're going to get... I ordered mine two weeks ago, and I feel the <laughs> need to write this displeasure. Oh, you are hilarious. What the fuck? Two weeks hey. ago. This order from Ouija. Look at me. I'm tonight. tired because my order late. So I'm going to eat these ham hocks till I get him. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Total Package Energy. Please support them right now. Go get 155 cases of Total Package Ooh. Energy. They got a full warehouse. Go get it right now. Also, We Juice. Go support We Juice right now. Also, go to my Amazon.com. What is it? Amazon.com. Get the relationship dismount. How to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship. Go get your paperback copy now. Also, go to still Amazon.com. You can get Kindle or you can get it off of the. Um, what is that? What do they call the Apple store? Is it iBooks or the. Apple Store. Or you just go to the Apple Store. You can get it from there as well. Support, support, support. Anybody that does some supporting today, I'm shouting you out like Dirk Pop, who just hit us with $15 on the Super Chat. Hey, everybody in the YouTube chat room, if you hit us, I'm going to shout you out. The call-in number, people are asking about that, 323-230-4445. Forty-five, three, two, three, two, three, zero, four, 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 five. Uh, Dirk Pop says, "Zo, I may troll in the chat when I can, but God damn it, I support." Thanks again for resolving my <laughs> issue I had with my pre-order and assuring me it was complete. Hey, man, I'm here to help. I'm here to support, but I'm not here to baby motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, and where my order at? Your order coming. You're going to show some patience. You understand? You understand? You understand? You understand? You got to get that uh, wild, uh, wild Bill uh, cadence from, from the Green Mile. Wow. Oh. Listen here. <laughs> Let me tell you. You're going to keep quiet. I'm going to kill her, okay? And then you keep quiet or I'm going to kill her. You understand? You understand? Okay. <laughs> Sound like a, a serial killer. What you going to do, you little limp noodle? You little you limp do. noodle. You won't you wanna suck my dick, you little limp noodle. <laughs> That's gross. I'm sorry. That is. Alright. All right. And again, we're back. <laughs> oh, somebody else hit us up. Real knowledge ain't free. Love this show since the beginning and <clears throat> let's do bigger things in twenty nineteen. Uh, what's my man? Music Man 10 just hit us with twenty dollars on the super chat. We appreciate everybody for doing their very best. Anonymous Knowledge Marauders just dropped $10. Good brother, you got my support. Kev and Timmy Tight Top and Jeff, right. I'm making my rounds to support you fellas. That's hey, 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 hey. We appreciate everybody for doing it. Now, K, 
Kevin. Yo, yeah, I got a 20% Cyber Monday sale at BossBabyTrump.com. Just when you go there, type in BBT20, get your 20% off. That's on the LeBron and the uh, Kaepernick shirts. Also at RealNoggers.com, I got a 30% discount. Just type in Zo What. I got new shirts in there. Enter the Dragon More shirts, so cop those. Also Dragon Mo for show. And um, the book, the Great book of melanin research, $50 off today. If you order today, $50 off of the book of research. Um, you get for $199, you get uh, the hard copy and the digital copy, but I'm taking $50 off of that, so you get both of those for $150. If you just want the digital, I'll give you $25 off of that today to hit it up. Real Noggins right. website, YouTube awesome. site. All right, well, this is all out of the way now. Yes. This is all out of the way. We about to get right into the fuck. And nitty gritty. You like that pause? Trey Buckley just hit us with $25 on the super chat. Let's get it. So you guys know we have a series. The series is called Moorish History to Dummies. (laughs) Now what does Moorish History mean? What does it mean? What does the word more mean? More. You mock me more. You mock me. <laughs> you mock me more. <laughs> what does the word mean? Does it have any significance? What's the difference between the Moors Science Temple and the Moors of old? Are they the same? Are there Aboriginal American continent Moors? <laughs> What's the difference? Between the Aboriginal American continent mall and the <laughs> African mall. Continent mall. Is there an Asian mall? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is there an Asian mall? <laughs> Is there a European mall? You mock me mall. <laughs> What is the difference between a maw and a negro? A maw and a n- common nigger. <laughs> what is the difference? We want to know. Who is this maw? Where is he from? Right? We got to cover it. What's the difference between ethnicity and nationality? Right? Do our cousins who still cling to their nationality mock us for being slaves? No one is here to call to you. No one is here to protect you for you know not who you are. I cannot stand for you, American Negro. For I am Nigerian and I may have sold you. (laughs) We might have. (laughs) We need to know the truth today. Yanadi, we are about to open up a library. Today's topic, the Moorish Library. This is the Knowledge of Self show. The books you need to read, the studies you need to undertake in order to know, have an idea of where to start. Now, we have Kobe Tupac in the building, a.k.a. What? Kevin Bettinger. <laughs> we have, Listen to that bullshit. We have Cardinal Dale in the building. Bless you, my child. Bless you, my child. Everybody get your, get, get, get your, get your communion. Get, get, your, get, your, get your communion glasses together and get your little crackers together. But more importantly, get your goddamn money together. Get your money together money. now. It shit ain't free. There's an offering That's going right. around. Jesus I, save. Jesus save. You know what he's saving? The money I'm giving him. Now get your shit together. All right. Don't forget to hit that super chat. I'm going to try to shout out everybody who does it. We appreciate it. Here we go. go. Kevin Barringer. Uh-oh. Let's Uh-oh. start <clears throat> with the first book from the library that common niggas, common niggas, <laughs> Common, common darkies so are to procure. Come on, niggas. Um, well, I would say the easier. There's two books actually you can get. 
the easier read between the two would be Nature Knows No Color Lines. The harder one is Ancient and Modern Britons. Nature Knows No Color Lines by? J.A. Rogers. J.A. Rogers. And hard, why? Pardon me? Why is one harder than the other? Well, Ancient and Modern Britons is harder. Is a harder read. It's a harder read. It's um, Just because... It's more compact in terms of the information. It's more mm. condensed. Mm. And the writing style is different. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. Yes. Yeah. Old well, English almost. Yeah. Well, the guy who wrote it, David McRitchie, wrote Ancient and Modern Britons. It was written in 1884. Yeah. And, um, he was a white guy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And he, was, and he was breaking down how he was descended from the Moors, McRitchie. But um, Nature Knows No Color Lines was written in the 1900s, early 1900s. So, so And written by a brother. And so you, you're right. Brother, Caucasian, two different writing styles. But the the research that's done in ancient and modern Britons is so extensive. And um, the lingo, the style of writing that they, that he's talking about, because it is European, it's a little hard to read, but just sit, take your time with it. And then one of the terms that come out, one of the Moorish terms that people who are uh, people who are hip to Moorish history is Mac. Mac. Because a lot of times that was a word used by the Moors, Mac, yep. right? So Goldie. this is where you get all of those yep. ink, those Irish names, MacDougall. Oh, y- you get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. the Moors were called Mac, and even up to the 70s, when when niggas call themselves now, the Mac, the Mac. I was <laughs> Mac into this. I was Mac into this girl See? named Sadie. Yeah, <laughs> the Mac. That's that's it, and that's in this she book. She used to be yeah. my homeboy's lady. Hey, let me do this real quick. Christopher Ellis just hit us with fifty dollars, man. Thank you, Chris. Man, we in here getting it. Anybody who hits that super chat, it's Cyber Monday. So what? Morning show. Dash talk X. Don't play yourself. This is the Moorish Library. <laughs> so ancient and modern Britons, very in depth book that man. also covers the Picts, the Picti, the Pictish. Now, the Pictish you see depicted in the film Braveheart mm. also, yeah, with Bra- Mel Gibson. And mm-hmm. our King Arthur and Ar- just Arthur with uh, Clive Owen. And in Conan the Barbarian in the, in the, in the cartoon, yeah. the, the, the Marvel, the comic right. book. The Picts was in there giving his monkey ass hell. So the Picts were the melanated indigenous people or the aboriginal people of Britain. Mm. And that's where you get the word picture because of pictures have colors. And so they were naming it after the people. Because they painted themselves. Right. They Tell painted them. Them. Yeah. yeah, they painted themselves. But they painted themselves, but they were also just dark. They were, you know, the they painted themselves with like a, a, a indigo type of ink. And so they were they were these dark skinned people. But um, the in that book, though, it breaks down how the Moors and in Scotland, the the, the Moors um Royalty in Scotland, or everybody in Scotland, how they they're all they're all delineated from Moors, like uh, the the king of the king and king of queen of England right now, um, Sax Coburg. So if you go look up the the um, coat of arms for Sax Coburg, you'll find a Moor, a dark skinned brother Moor with two big hoop earrings and big ass dark red lips, and so that's the lineage. And they talk they talk about that in the uh, in ancient and modern Britons. Also, the Dragon Moor thing. The whole Dragon Moor thing. Wait, wait, wait. That's another there. piece. That's a whole nother piece. We're going to get something. We're going to get something. We're going to get something. That's in that book, though. I'm going to tell you right oh, now. That's in that book. My homeboy. <laughs> my homeboy. My homeboy. My, my, my homeboy. Your peeps. Jeff Brown. Oh, yes, yes. Hasn't written down those books yet. No. You know what he's doing? He's looking at the goddamn... Chat room. Yeah, I'm looking at the chat room. <laughs> hey. No, this is for you. Now. Yeah, he's like, because hey. you, you say you always. Because you always. <laughs> okay. Y'all niggas don't share nothing, man. Oh, okay. Well, here. Come guess, on, man. Guess what I'm going to do? Instead of writing them down after the show, he's going to watch them. I'm going to go back. Yeah. And watch them. <laughs> I know. <what's> <laughs> Technology. You <laughs> fucked hard. Teaching people the right way to listen. <laughs> the right way to listen. Alright, so now I'ma hit y'all with one of my books while Kevin get his shit together. Oh, for sure. For sure. I tell people to get this book all the mother fucking time. Ancient Egypt, The Light of the World, Mm. by Gerald Massey. This white man ran up against 
the Masons. Because the Masons was like, hey, motherfucker, take that shit out. There. Why are you telling the truth? He said, I'm just reporting what I see. The Masons were mad at him because he was revealing the truth of ancient Egypt. And he didn't depict them as white people. He was telling the truth. And the Masons stepped to his ass for doing it. Because yeah. they wanted to keep <laughs> the deep knowledge yep. that he was revealing yep. a fucking secret hmm. Gerald Massey yep. ancient Egypt the light of the world comes in two volumes yeah. get both volumes <laughs> when I tell you Gerald Massey's ass was revealing some heavy shit he got several books would you care to investigate? I know you would. <laughs> no, he's got several books that I think you should that I think you should get. Egypt, Light of the World, Volume 1 and 2, Book of the Beginnings, Part 1. Definitely get that. Uh there's one in particular that I'm looking for. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The historical Jesus and mythical Jesus, Gerald Massey. The historical Jesus and mythical Jesus. You must, you must, you must get this book. But there's another one. What was the other one, Kev? Uh, do you remember? Uh, what was it? The Secrets of Amenta? What was that book? I done read it so many times, but I've I've forgotten also. The number to dial if you'd like to participate in today's conversation. If you got a book that you think you want to share, uh, you know what I mean? That you think you want uh, the, the nation to hear, please, please, please call us at... 323-230-4445. We are doing... Black History Book Library today. Well, should we say black or should we say Mortis Library? Mortis Library. The Mortis <laughs> Library today. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where are you calling from? Welcome to the Zo What Morning Show. Is that Zo What? This is Zo What. What's happening, Pimp? <laughs> oh, my God, yo. Listen, I'm Kofi. I'm 40 from London, UK. Hey! Hey, what's, 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 what's happening, up? man? Yo, what's going on? What's going on? I'm going back home, man. I'm on Jeff's TV. I, I listen to Jeff every now and again on Jeff's TV as well. What's going on, Jeff? Yo, oh, what's <laughs> up, Doc? Thank you, man. What's going on? Yo, 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 yo. Sorry, man. It's a little bit of playback, so I might listen, listen a little bit of the conversation. But what I want to touch upon, like, first of all, I love your show. I've been watching it for two years. I watch all the old shows. Yo, Kev, you dropped that knowledge. So... I wish you and Corey Holcomb sing, and J Jeff, man, you're the most funniest, smartest guy I've ever met. Tear top, 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 you're the reason why I'm going to gym right now. So, like, I'll have to respect all of you, man, right now. My man. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, but what I want to say, what I want to drop this, I want to drop this real quick, yeah? Because, like, my parents, I'm, like, I'm, t I'm first generation I'm British, so let's case of, like, Ghan uh, African British, I'll say. So, my parents are from, from Ghana, yeah? Okay, you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah we got you. We listening, man. We listening, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 good, good, good. Yeah, you listen, listen, listen. Yeah, so what I'm just saying is that, look, I love your show, but one thing I just get, get like, like today's topic, you not pick up a lot of the malls. Um, I know the malls are the big things, but you pick up the malls in Egypt a lot. And obviously, when we go there now, them man don't look like DJ Funk Flex anymore. They look like more like DJ Khaled. Don't go wrong. I'm not excited new from all of your shows, especially that new mansions you're doing as well. Yo, last two weeks ago when you're visiting some of the Corey Oakham, you look killed me. Like, yo, it's too much. It's too much information. But what I'm just saying is that let's touch upon. Can we not touch upon that? Maybe the mass of mooses and few of the people who look more like us. Because I could go to one of my friends who's from the Igbo tribe in Nigeria and they look like you, so. I can go to my friend from Senegal. I can go to my, I can go to my cousin. He looks like you, Kev. Okay, this is what, what I want you to do. What I want you to do. Is your foot on the gas or is it on the brakes? <laughs> You know what? It's on the gas. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. So, what I would like for you to do is move your foot over to the brakes. Yeah. Touch the, touch the other rectangle with your foot. And slow down. 
Just All look right. at because I'm you, gonna slow down. Let, you, let, me you, 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 because let me slow down. I know you're excited. No, you are excited too. Because he's talking about something that I think is important, and he's creating a distinction yeah. that I think is a problem. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 That's the problem with our people today. Yes. Mm. We highlight distinctions. He mm. took Mansa Musa yeah. is a more. Yes. Just by definition yeah. of yeah. what the word more means. Yeah. Anybody that has melanin, and I mean significant melanin. Right. Is a more. Mm. Right. So yeah. what happens is if you look at the people, because he mentioned something very important. He talked about modern day Arabs who are in Egypt yes. and, the, and, and the Middle East today. Yes. Modern day Arabs are a mixture of, of people. Yes. But they have melanin because they mixed in with the original inhabitants of the lands they now occupy. I agree that's because that's where I listen to John Henry Clark. He says they're new, they're new town people. They're not, they haven't been around as long as us, or maybe even as long as the Europeans who came from the Caucasus Mountains. Slow it down. There is a break. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Because <laughs> <I'm listening> right <laughs> we want to be able to hear everything you say, brother. You know what we yeah, we yeah. want to get all this information, right? Because you're dropping it like hot lava. You feel me, though? All right, all right. I love it. I love it. Yeah, man. So that's the purpose of today's show. We want to highlight the thing that has been subjugated and obfuscated. What is obfuscate? What does it mean? It means to cover. It means to hide. Black history has been hidden the world over. And the Arabs in ancient Mm -hmm. Egypt, starting with Zahi Hawass... (laughs) <laughs> are doing yes. a great okay, job. I want to, I want to they are doing a great job of hiding the true origins and ethnicities yes. of the people that they make a living off of. Yep. Wow. The ancient people wow. in ancient Egypt, they make a living. Now let me tell you, Arabs don't fuck with idols. The no. Quran mm. forbids it. The Quran says no idol worship whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They don't like pictures of the prophets. They don't like any of that. But it's interesting to have a Muslim, right, an Arab running the Egyptian artifacts and the museums Mm -hmm. in ancient Egypt. You get it? Let me finish this point and then then it's your turn, right? Now, yeah, yeah. the reason why they do that is because that makes the most money for ancient yes. well, for Egypt today as a nation is tourism. Wow. Yep. Wow. Mm. See, so you've seen you've seen yeah. radical Muslims destroy ancient artifacts in different parts of the Middle East. Iraq, Persia, Iran or uh, Iran is Persia. They've destroyed that. Because they say Allah doesn't, you know, permit these idols. They've destroyed ancient fucking statues and buildings, but they're not destroying the pyramids. Right. Because the pyramids and all of the right. artifacts therein make them bread. Go ahead, brother. Finish your point. All right. Listen, listen. No homo. You, it's like you're in my brain right now because... I was about to touch upon that. You know how this ass is when they take over a little bit, they destroy all the old monuments. Like, they like doing that type of stuff, innit? But touch upon that. Okay, if there's no picture of Muhammad, yeah, obviously, like, through the um, Islam, yeah, they don't want the picture of, of like, the, the Prophet Muhammad. No. Is it, potentially, was he, is it because he may have been a black guy? No. Say it again. You got to speak in the okay, mic, cool. though. Go ahead. Speak, speak in the mic, oh, Timmy Tytop. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, he's going to no, not you. Not Timmy, you. Timmy Tytop has Timmy, a response. Oh, Timmy oh, is going to okay. answer oh, your okay, question. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Timmy Ty- Prophet Muhammad was not black. He was Arab. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. Prophet I know you're fucking up. Yeah, say, huh? <laughs> he's saying <laughs> you need to... Prophet Muhammad, Salah Salam, was not black. Yeah. He was um he was Arab. An Arab is not an ethnicity. Well, you know. He's not Arab. And, uh, and, see, this is this is why we're doing this show. Right. Arab. Right. Let me, let me, let me, hold, hold on, Pimp. Let me answer yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Let me. As a matter of fact, thank you for the call, man. We appreciate you reaching out. No, no, so, 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 so. 
Yes. I'm listening. Just one last thing. One last thing. Just one last thing I want to drop in. But I said, like, every week, you guys give me a lot of information. I learn something different, something new. One thing I want to say, because I know you guys say you learn something new every day, is that, brother, you need to visit the continent, man. Just go and speak to the people, see the people yourself. Because at the moment, you've got so much information. I know you can tend to times it by tenfold if you visit the people um, physically. I got you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Yeah? Yes. Fans, yeah, fans, yeah, okay, yeah. But again, so, safe for the information. I'm listening again. Yo, I'll try and speak to you guys again if, if you allow me to. Thank you, brother. We appreciate yeah, it. So let me fix this point. The Prophet Muhammad was a black man. Melanated man. He was. See, if you go into the Quran, the Quran will say that the Prophet Muhammad was a descendant of Adam. Now, Adam, right, was created from what the Quran calls Hamun, black mud or black soil. And once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala formed the body of Adam from black clay or mud, hamun, hamun, ham, ham, cam, kemet, land of blacks. Okay, cool. All right. The original name of Egypt. Now, once that happened, it said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blew the breath of life, aruhu, his soul, into Adam's nostrils and then said kun faya kun be and exist Adam was black Jesus was black Muhammad was black okay sidebar Let, oh, no no because yeah. there's a joke coming and I want you to hold it okay no I, I know <laughs> so no it's not a joke I actually had a question but go ahead right so again we get caught up not knowing the history. You speak Arabic. You know the word Arab means nomad, traveler. Right. Yeah. It's an adjective. This is even the, the Arabic word for car, Araba, means to traverse, to travel. That's not an ethnicity. And what my good brother Hassan whose family is Muslim, the reason why he, he, he said that is because that's a European way of teaching out the race in Islam. Yeah, because man. the Europeans don't want you to know that the Prophet Muhammad was a black man. You you can't say Naran and he was more he was he was he was molded of Hamun black clay. Yeah. You ask any Arabic scholar, what does Hamun? What is what does that mean right there? Hamun <laughs> in Arabic, my nigga. The fuck that mean? Oh, that means black clay. Yeah. How do you get Charlton well, Heston out of that? How do you get light that? skin? How do you get Charlton Heston out of that? How do you get white? They get Liam Neeson out of... Uh, right. How do we do that? Do that. How did that part happen? Casting. Uh, Casting. Yeah. Well, right. What the fuck? Now I have a and, question. And again, Arab and Hebrew. Because remember, Arabic and Hebrew are sister languages, just different dialects. Mm, that I did not right. know. You get Salam, you get <laughs> Shalom. That same dialect... Or same language, different dialect. Right. That's what people don't understand. Like the difference between New York and Kentucky. Right. Hebrew, right? Same thing. Abraham crossed over the Tigris and Euphrates River, right? Oh, somebody saw him, a Canaanite, and said, oh, he's a Hebrew. Eber, to cross over, to travel, to traverse. That ain't no goddamn right. ethnicity. That's an adjective. Right. That's explain. No, that's a verb. It's a, it's a verbal that's, pronoun. That's explaining an action. 
But I want to be clear about the the terms between dark and black, though, because these are yeah. very these are very distinct things. Please back, do it, man. Back in the back in the day, when you're talking about Muhammad, that wasn't it didn't mean black. That word black or black or bleak meant uh, pale or yellow, so or to whiten. So that's not what we call ourselves. Tam or more comes from Tamor, which means the dark land, just like Kemet means the dark land. So Ta, Ma. Mm -hmm. Ra or yes. Ray. Yes. Ta yes. Is so you, you you see how it breaks things down. First you get Ma, which right. is water. Right. Obviously Ray or Ra is sun and Ta is, is earth. Yes. Or land. <laughs> ta Ma Ra. Right. Or what we used to Wait. name our daughters back in the day, Tamara. 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 Right. I was yes. with, okay, so Ta <laughs> is what? Land. Land, land or land. earth. And Ma is, is water, is water, and Ra or Ray okay. is sun. So what's 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 wind? Shoo, shoo. So Ta Chu. No, Ra no, is you're adding. Wind and fire. <laughs> no, okay. man. This is the no. Christian in here. Yeah. We want to. I'm trying to see how to, if Ta Chu Ray. Dude, I'm trying to say, okay, if Tosh, I... Is that Tal Shumare? Look at it, man. All right, look, look, if I find myself, if I find myself in, in Saudi Arabia, and I know the earth, wind, and fire is coming, and I'm trying to find directions. God damn it. I was talking Arabic. I want to say, excuse me, uh, where's Tal Shumare playing? I don't even think you understand me. Earth, wind, and fire, right? So again, so, right, so, so again, let me, let me hit you again. Somebody is saying more is Spanish. In Spanish is Moro. Black in Spanish is negro. Negro, yes. Or uh, right, and one one is a noun, and the other is an adjective. adjective. Here's the thing: a lot of times, you motherfuckers get stuck stuck with the European definition. Yes, we're gonna take the word farther back. Wow, <laughs> wow! Because the word is older than your European captives. Yes. Anytime a Spanish motherfucker shit. wants to, God damn it, define some shit that relates to the Moors, they're going to be biased because they were in captive for 800 years to us. And they're going to try to take everything they can from your ass. So I need y'all <laughs> to understand. To understand. Oh, well, you know, the Spanish said it meant this. And the Spanish <laughs> were biased because they were under our yoke. You fucks. If, yeah, you're being smashed by somebody for a thousand years or close to a thousand years. And not the good smash. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, this is the monkey nut smash on, on niggas. You understand? <laughs> you were putting the smash down. Slavery, hmm. all of that. That was all of us. You understand? You understand? <laughs> you understand me? You understand? But yeah, okay. um, but you were going back to when you said Hamun, and if so if you if you tell on your sister, the black I'm earth, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you stupid. If you tell on you, <laughs> <laughs> I still but, have my same but, question. Now let me get that out though. So oh, the Hamun, though, how you were talking about, you, it's the it's the dark land, the same as Kemet and Tamore. All of it, it's the same. The dark land, the rich soil, mm -hmm. the fertile soil. Hmm. Go ahead, what were you about to say? I, I, I I just, still, uh, go ahead, Jeff. Earlier, you said that Muhammad was black and that Jesus <clears throat> was black. Now, am I not to believe that Jesus is not a, a, a fabrication of the Roman Catholic Church? Let me just ask you a question. Yes, are, sir. are you confused? or Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so, so I'm going to really help you with Thank this. Thank you. I will now, not, yes. now, watch how clear this going to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> Help me out, shit. <laughs> fuck that story. Thank you. <laughs> fuck, which, fuck which story? But Wait a minute, which story? That Jesus story. Oh, okay, yes, okay. But if you go back to the time that they said it happened in, mm -hmm. those people who inhibited that space, mm -hmm. inhabited mm -hmm. that space, and that time were of dark back and say during 4 AD in the Middle East you ain't talking about no you're not talking about white talking people about, you ain't talking about <laughs> Richard Burton you're not talking about white people you ju you're just <laughs> the fuck not <laughs> you can't be you're just the fuck not you're just the fuck not no see white people back then in those lands uh -huh. were 
like white people in Inglewood today, walking dogs. See, they, black no people in Inglewood see white people walking dogs today and go, the fuck How are you doing? Right. Oh, that's right. We we got a damn stadium going up. Right. It's regentrification happening. White people are coming into black areas. Right. Take so when white right. people showed up in the Holy Land, the motherfucking black people who lived there was like, who? <laughs> this is some right. different motherfucker. Right. And you see it in shows like, who saw... The Genghis Khan show on Netflix. Mm. Mm. The story of Genghis Khan. Mm. Oh, Is it still man. up there? And that shit it's... was powerful. The history was crazy. Yeah. But when them white folk came along the Silk Road to get to the Khan, mm -hmm. them, them people was looking at them white people like, who the fuck? What kind <laughs> of weird... <laughs> What kind of person are you? Because you new to them lands. Right. So doing? so to answer Jeff's question again, whether Jesus or any of this shit even happened is irrelevant. When they put it on a specific time. Timeline. At right. this yes. time, yes. in this area, yeah, the shit was called Marco Polo. <laughs> no, the move... Uh, Netflix film. Oh, I, did, I did see Polo. that. I saw, well, I saw pieces. I saw okay. pieces. I haven't finished it yet. Peep that history. Marco Polo. So what you're getting at is, okay, fine. Y'all want to go with 2018 years ago. Some dude walked on water, broke bread, healed the blind, raised the dead, healed the sick, all that shit. Ain't no way that dude could possibly have been any other color. Right. If we're going to go, we're, what you're basically saying is let's jump off into your Marvel comic world for a minute. Yeah. In your Marvel comic world, it ain't a fucking way that the Hulk is orange. Right. <laughs> Stop right. saying the Hulk is orange, niggas. Right. Green. Now, I don't know where he's getting them purple pants that keep shrinking and growing, but he <laughs> is green. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All that. Hmm. But like you were talking about, if you uh, going back and you're saying they, the, when the Caucasians came to these lands and saw all of that, like if you go look up um, the Garamantes, which are like the the ancients of Libya, and like kind of your first mm. precursor to your to your new modern Moors, they were like uh, they were from around 500 BC to 700 BC, so right before the Moors invaded Spain. I mean, uh, 700 AD, so right before the Moors invaded Spain. So if you go you go look at them. What, one of their main things they did was hunt what they called troglodytes, which were cave dwellers, the Caucasian cave dwellers who lived in the desert. And that's because they were, they were uncivilized. They were kind of uncivilized, and they would wreak havoc in that, in that area. So they would go enslave them. Actually, they would hunt them down and enslave them. And so, oh, wow. <laughs> and so that was one of their major economies was slavery, enslaving the troglod what they called troglodytes or your, your cavemen in that region. So you've been doing that shit for a long time. All right, so what's your next book? My next book would be... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold her the book. Hold her the That last Gerald Massey book, Egyptian Book of the Dead and the Ancient Mysteries of Amenta by Gerald Massey. Egyptian Book of the Dead and the Ancient Mysteries of Amenta. <laughs> Hold on the vocal show. Hmm. Kev, what's your next yeah. book? Um, next, oh, excuse me. The next one would be, well, I got a couple, but um, Ottoman, the Ottoman Centuries. Is that the, okay, hold on. Is that the one that breaks down the Sultan when he went to check on uh, Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. Ooh, that, yeah. The, whole yeah. the whole Dracula. The whole Dracula. Ooh. Um, and, and that, that. Let me just say, because yeah. that book, when that's I read a, that book, it's like 800 <laughs> pages. Yeah, but it's a, good. Yeah, that's a fat book. <laughs> when I read that book, that shit was amazing because the mannerism of morality and civility 
Yeah. Let you know that that was a black man. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because the story of Vlad the Impaler, this nigga was wild. A gangster. He was a gangster. <laughs> he was He Ill. was wild. He was ill. And he would not yield to the sultan. Because he learned from them. Now, his cousin was like, Nick, hey, we can't beat him. Nope. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck wrong with you, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to live. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to fuck with the Moors, nigga? You <laughs> fucking with the Moors? Okay. So you know what he did? This motherfucker snuck up on a camp of Moors. There's like yep. 30,000 of them. Shit. And murdered them all. Yep. And then impaled yep. them yep. on stakes. Put them in like the dug out this big ass pit and stakes and threw them all in there. So when motherfuckers rolled through, <laughs> they saw all the moors impaled on <laughs> on these stakes while they was you know. So they went back and told the sultan. Yeah. And the sultan was like, "What? Hold on, I gotta go see this shit myself." This motherfucker and this is how he rolled. The sultan came through with a crew. Of over 200,000 more. Yep. Salam alaikum. Like, bitch. this is what y'all want to y'all, y'all <laughs> do. Y'all want to get down, bitch? Y'all want this smoke? Y'all want smoke. <laughs> y'all right. Want okay. Shade, bitch. He come through with 200,000 deep. Yep. And he rolled through and he saw his countrymen on spikes. And he was this like, This nigga what? crazy. What? This motherfucker <laughs> crazy. This nigga Because what Vlad did was he burned. The city. Yeah. I think it was Wallachia or some shit. He burns the city. Wallachia. Mm -hmm. Wallachia. He burns it. Like, well, you can't have it if I can't have it. All right. So the motherfucker rolled through and see that shit and was like, this nigga, him. This motherfucker, wild. And you know what he does? Mm. He turns around and goes home. Yep. That's some black shit. That's some this he, motherfucker. This nigga. dude's crazy. Yeah, this nigga. He on some bullshit. All right, I'm gonna turn around. This and nigga leave. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> he, we out. Let's get the fuck right. out. He's like, we out. We up out of here. That's let's like go. Let's story. go home. That's like the story about Attila the Hun. Attila rolled up, uh, and you know he was burning through shit, and he came upon this dude, this army general, who had ten times the army that Attila had, and they agreed to meet. With just 50 of Attila's men and 50 of his men. And he tried to impress upon Attila. Look, I got 10 times your men. We got stronger steel, bigger horses. Attila said, really? Here's what you don't have. And looked at one of his men and said, kill yourself. And the dude cut his own throat. That general said, yeah, let's quit fucking with this dude right here. Because we ain't got shit for that. We don't have. <laughs> we do, The way we do war is that we yeah. believe that you don't want to die. <laughs> That's our whole thing. When we figure out you don't want to die, yeah. you just out here, nigga? You, okay, yeah, yeah, you don't give, yeah, you don't give a fuck about dying, nigga? We ain't got nothing. <laughs> we cool. And, and, how the, and how the blood thing came about, the whole myth of him drinking blood was because he did. He used to. So when he would kill people and he had them on the spike, he would... The blood was then if he bowl. did it, he was, it wasn't a myth. Well, I mean, did the motherfucker I mean, know it or not? I mean, the myth of this nigga being a you know some a type vampire, of yeah a vampire, right. some mythical fucking creature or some shit. Yeah, but he did eat blood. You know, I mean, he, so he would dip his br- his bread in the blood and shit like that and eat it sitting at like a dinner table, and that would scare a lot of motherfuckers coming through to make him think that he was crazy. But um, uh, he was crazy. Then. <laughs> right. He wasn't making motherfuckers think. That's <laughs> crazy. He was showing that shit. He was that crazy. shit's crazy. Yeah. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can. Yeah. But no, uh, Lawrence Gardner, um, this guy, Lawrence Gardner, um, what's that book Lawrence Gardner did? You got to get, let's, hey, let's direct them. Yeah, to the book. What? The Grail Kings. The Grail Kings. I uh, uh, I don't know, Kev, what your. No, but he has a couple. Wait, wait, wait. He has a couple of books. Grail Kings and and also get the Lord of the Rings book he wrote. Oh, shit. That breaks down the movie. But it's something, I think, Bloodline of the Holy Grail, I think is the one I'm thinking, I may be thinking about. But Lawrence Gardner has a few books. Yeah, he does, he does. You must get. Right. And we have to articulate that before. I'm I'm trying to, but the Wi-Fi is saying no. Well, this dude, Lawrence Gardner, he's the royal historian, archivist. And so he talks about how, you know, he's the one who looks at the archives and go in and touches and fix everything up. 
<coughs> excuse me, for the royal families. And um, in these archives, he talked about how they were they would do these rituals where they would drink blood, and it went all the way back. These you know these um, in these in the uh, the lineages of these families. And um, Vlad the Impaler, he was part of that. He was part of that drug that that blood drinking cult where they thought where they figured that um, the whole point of it was that you're you're when you when you um, in your blood there's certain in, uh, endocrine your your uh, suck your teeth again, nigga. Who? You talk to. I'm talking to you, Kev. Yeah, oh. well, there's certain suck your teeth again, nigga. <laughs> one more there's time. There's certain nigga. hormones one within more time, the blood. Nigga. There's certain hormones time. within the blood that is that's within your blood that's secreted. So when they drink the blood, they felt that they were getting these hormones like melatonin and melanin and these different things. Mm. That's the way they would drink the blood. Now, in the movie Bram Stoker, mm-hmm. they talk about Vlad being after the order of the dragon. At the very beginning, you'll miss it if you if you if you miss the first five minutes, you'll miss that part. If you're not paying attention, what the fuck is the order of the dragon? Something created by um, Sigismund von Luxemburg in the in the in the Crusade times, and he created this order to stomp out what they called the dragon, which were the Saracens and Moors of that time. The Moors were the dragon. That's why yes. their symbol was a dragon with its own tail wrapped around its neck. Right. I'm still, I'm, that's a secret society yes. that still exists today. And being in that order, you you took on the name Draco or Dragon. Mm. And so uh, Dracula is son of the dragon. Dracul. Father, yeah. And so his father was in the order. And so they tried to say he was in order, but it's actually his father was in the order. And so he was son of the dragon. And all and just get the book, the Ottoman what? Ottoman centuries. <sighs> But again, they try to make the Ottomans look like the Turkish people yes. of today. Okay. Yeah, watch out for that shit. Can we go back to, <laughs> to Vlad, Vlad for a minute? Yes. Just for a hot second. Yeah. Uh, Kev, mm. uh, I just got a slight bone to pick with something you said. Of course you do. About Vlad, in your opinion, might be crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where you draw your crazy line, <laughs> but mine is drawn five miles away from... Dipping your dinner roll in the blood of a victim like it's gravy. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a, he I was not crazy out before. Because that. he wasn't doing it because he loved that type of shit. He was How doing you know, it for nigga, intimidation. You because that I mean that was the whole that's the whole history of it. And you know, it's, it's, nigga, it's, it's, I got it's, 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 I'm he was doing it for the intimidation. Nigga Debo <laughs> rode a bike up and stole a necklace wearing some shucks. <laughs> hey, and Kev. that was intimidating, nigga. Take hey, care. Hey, Take care. <laughs> Hey, Kev. Yo. Hey, Kev. What's that? Hey, Kev. <laughs> hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Listen here, Nick. What up, Nick? Hey, fuck you, Nick. <laughs> fuck you, Nick. You over here lying, Nick. Nick, uh-huh. Vlad the Impaler, Nick. Okay. Hey, a couple of you niggas are getting over in the uh, Cardinal Dale's lane with your fucking voices, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick your own fucking tone. God you better pick your own tone. <laughs> yeah, pick your own goddamn tone. You go in another direction, shit. I don't think you're that high, brother. Uh, <laughs> so let me say this real quick. Lawrence Gardner books that must be picked up. Genesis of mm. the Grail King. Mm-hmm. I've right. heard of that. Yeah. Right. Uh, and, and, and it's important uh, that you guys get these books because Lawrence Gardner, as uh, his job was to break down the line of succession. He was supposed to let you know this is the bloodlines of the of the royals. But he was also given uh, the responsibility to tie their bloodlines into the ancient bloodlines right. of Africa. Tying into yes. the vine is what they called it. Yep. See, Europe's royalty can't be royal without claiming that they're related to the Jesuses. That's why, oh, the Priory of Sion. <laughs> they have to say we're related to Jesus. We already know the Jesus story is right. a lie. Okay? It's a lie. Yes. Why? Flatly. It's a flat out lie. It's the retelling of <clears throat> many son messiahs. Thank you. Jesus is number one. No, he's actually 11th. Right. If or you 16th. add up, oh, is it 16th? Yeah. There's yeah. 15 stories before him? Yeah. I thought there was a, a, a 10. There's yeah. 15 stories? It's, just, it's Dionysus, 16. all these. All yeah. of them. Mithra, 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 Mithra
So again, they want to tie into your lineage. Mm. See, yeah. see, this yeah. is what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal your knowledge. So you're a thieving play cousin. Rewrite it. Water mm-hmm. it down. Take the spirituality mm-hmm. out of it. Become you. Become you <laughs> and then give you my remixed yes. diet GMO version of your spirituality. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Wait, is that, <laughs> yeah, that is what, is that what they said the in the meeting? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And they can't be ro- they can't be royal unless they tie back into the brand. Y'all can sit around here point. eating shit off the ground and picking your ass and eat what you find if you want to. Yeah, but that's what I'm gonna do. Watch, that's what I'm gonna do. Go watch that movie on Netflix, uh, Outlaw King. I'm telling you, that movie breaks down the whole lineage of the Moors in in Scotland, the McDonalds, uh, the the McDouglases, the Douglases. The McGregors, and so these are the people who are fighting for what they call ancestral lands oh that God. England that England had took out that took it over. That's so, what I'm gonna do. Taking the word is taking over. And so I think it's taking over taking, other than well, tooken. Well, well, tooken tooken? Over. Nigga, I tooken. like tooken. tooken over there. I like tooken over too. Nigga. You like tooken? I like but, tooken, nigga. But check this out. I so. want some tooken. <laughs> Look here. But no, but listen. To this. So when they when they were getting ready to when they were t- uh, fighting Scotland, the the son of the son of the King of England, King Edward II. Um, he wasn't as good as his father. He wasn't as gangster as his father. So he was telling his father was asking him, um, basically, nigga, you've been a disappointment. So how would you go about squashing out Scotland? And he told him, um, basically, I would raise the dragon. And he was like, well, what? he looked at him like, oh, you know shit. what that means? Yeah, he said, I'm so, gonna get the next. I'm, yep, no, well, he raised the dragon flag. And so what that means is when you raise the dragon flag, the dragon banner is what they called it. They rolled around with this dragon banner. They were smashing everything. No, no mercy given or nothing. Cutting your drawn and quartered, killing babies, killing every fucking thing. Wow. We just got a euro. 20 what? euros from <laughs> wow. Coleman. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Y'all got to hit that. that super chat button if you really appreciate the knowledge and information that we're sharing on this channel. This is the Zo What Morning Show. And what we're doing for today's topic, which is Moorish History Library. We take it's euros, cool. win, won, <laughs> win, bot, <laughs> drachmas, <laughs> beaver pelts, a whatever rupees. F- uh, whatever you want. We, we take rupees. Let me tell you something. If you leave a 78 Cutlass convertible in front of your house and tell me I can tow it to my house, we'll take that. God damn it. That's what I'm oh, looking for right a now. Rupee. <laughs> a rupee. Whatever you got. A rupee. 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 <laughs> oh my god I got to sample that was <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers Another book by Lawrence Gardner That you must get Realm Of the Ring Lords The mm-hmm. Myth and Magic of the of the Grail quest, you know how much science is in this motherfucking book? Man, oh shit! The oh. Ring Lords, yes, the Lord of the Rings. I'm finna, can I pick a fight real quick? Yeah. Uh, uh. Somebody in the chat room said, <laughs> "Is it you who said this? You are about to be stripped naked." Uh, so your understanding of the Bible is not accurate. That's all Christian. That's all. And uh, it's hard to read your shit because you didn't put any punctuation. If you mm. write seven words without punctuation <laughs> in the future, anybody under the sound of my voice, fuck you for the smart people to have to read what you got. Uh, your, so your understanding of the Bible is not accurate. That's all Christianity understanding, which is false. I don't know what he means. I have no fucking idea. What reference? Uh, what is he referencing? I, he doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. But he needs to get him a seventh grader in there, help him out with them periods and commas and shit. Because yeah. I'm not reading that shit. And you've immortalized him. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I have yet to immortalize. Well, we could have let him float into nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you gave light to his begging bowl. Yes. He's like all the others. He comes to me with a begging bowl. You seek understanding, but you do not bend the knee. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't learn shit standing up straight. 
No, you cannot. Not with your arrogance. I gotta get my knee there? You must bend the knee. I ain't gonna bend my goddamn knee. <laughs> when the last time y'all have swept this temple? That's you got all me my Christian knee. understanding. What are you? My huh? knee is not. Call in right now. The number to dial. I will answer your call. Yes. The number to dial is 323-230-4445. If you want to challenge me. If you dare, come into this chamber. Somebody said, did Godfrey start uh, that strip? I don't know. I know we did it a few weeks uh, a few weeks prior to his uh, appearance on uh, uh, on uh, 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 the 5150 show. But shit, man, I can share it with him. We, we, I know we did it a few weeks before he came on, but it's all love, man. Let me just say this. Lamont Griffin, he said, keep inspiring the drive for knowledge. He hit us with 25, man. We My man. It, man. Thank we you, brother. We appreciate it. Uh, Taja Cooks just hit us with $10. Hey, keep shooting that dough over here. Hit that little <laughs> super chat button. We appreciate it all. Don't worry about being stripped <laughs> of all of your finances. <laughs> Listen, we've got another book, Kev. You got a book or should I? Because I got books. I don't know what you planned on doing, but I got books. Book. Story of the Moor, excuse me, Story of the Moors in Spain, Stanley Lane Pool. That's a good one too. Wow, that's a good one too. You motherfuckers have been reading. Yes, yet. and you have not. I have not read none of shit. Hey, you guys, hear me tell you to get this book a lot, and a lot of people bitch and complain and bemoan how much it costs. <laughs> they bemoan its cost. But you will get some Jordans. You will get a new flat screen. Ooh. You will buy a bunch of bullshit. You and won't support this station or this channel or Zoe's movement in the way that you should. But because this book is $300, <laughs> you don't want to get it. I done told people to get it. Black Spark, White Fire. Did African explorers civilize ancient Europe? Richard Poe. I had him mm. on the show before. Mm hmm. This shit is so fucking cold. Black Spark, White Fire. Did African explorers civilize ancient Europe? Listen, if you want your kids to be dumb, if you want your kids to not know their history just because you don't, you bitch ass motherfucker, <laughs> then don't get none of these books. But if you want your kid to start off with knowledge itself, if you want your kids to regain what was stripped <laughs> from them, get this information. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name? Where you calling from? Welcome to the Zoe What Morning Show. Brother Zoe. What's that in Pimp? Brother Kevin. What's up, bro? Brother George. Brother George. Brother George. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, man. I was about to say, George. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on, man? I just want to share a little bit of uh, my Morris Library. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. Put it out All here. Right. Two, two sources you can refer directly to the Internet. The first one I want to use comes from a treaty. The treaty is between, it's called the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Oh, yeah. Signed at Tripoli, November 4th. 1796. So just go ahead, listeners, um, pull that up. Um, people in the chat room, pull that up. It's called the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. It's called the Treaty. It's called the Barbary Treaties. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship signed at Tripoli, November 4th, 1796. That's a long damn title. That's a lot of shit to put on the front of a book. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a, I mean, it's a treaty, you know. It's a legal document. Hmm. So what I want to point to you all is Article 11. Now, most people are under the impression that this country was founded by Europeans for Europeans, mm. specifically by Christian Europeans. But that is false. This country was not founded by or on, based on Christian belief. In this particular treaty, Article 11, it says, as the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. I repeat, as the government of the United States of America 
is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. Most people need to stop right there because most people believe the opposite. But I'm going to continue. It says after that, as it has in itself no character of enmity against the laws, religion, or tranquility of mutual men. Enmity is like saying we ain't got no hate. We don't hate y'all. We ain't got no hate for y'all. No character of enmity against the law, religion, or tranquility of musul men. Musul men is another term for Muslim men. Musul men, Muslim men, Muslims. Muslim. Because at that time, there was that use of the term musul men to refer to Muslims. And as the said states have never entered into any war or act of hostility against any Mohammedan or Mohammedan like Muhammad nation. It is declared by the parties that no pretext arising from religious opinions shall ever produce an interruption of the harmony existing between the two countries. So hey, a very important article. Hey, brother, Y'all wanna... let me Go just ahead. say, man, I appreciate that. That's why I made space for you to be able to do it. So, yes, sir. Th thank you again, man. Thank you for dropping that knowledge, man. We appreciate well, it. Well, one more, though. No, no, no. Shabbat shalom. I hold the debacle. We got, to, we got to move on, brother. Yes, you, you okay. done hit us upside the head, man. We appreciate. Put it in the chat room. We so we okay. we appreciate it. But any links you got, you can definitely put it in the chat. Okay. Thank you, brother. Okay. We appreciate it. Yo, a couple of people got a shout out before I get to Jeff's intellectual oh, rant. Oh, Davy Lee, nine ninety nine on the super chat. My man. Big Z. Big, what is this? Big C Zoo. 1999. Felicia McRae. $20. Felicia McRae. She's Amir out. Judge. $20. We appreciate y'all for hitting that super chat. Please hit the super chat if you appreciate the knowledge being shared. We appreciate that brother for calling in. If you want to call in with a little book uh, uh, or something to expand your library. Today mm -hmm. is the Moorish Library Show mm -hmm. on the Zoe What Morning Show on Dash Talk X. Zoe Williams is providing a resource <laughs> where knowledge is, is being put back into that which was stripped. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to bring it back. <laughs> and, in, and, and, in, and in keeping with that, I think this is very important. It must be said. Felicia McRae is a big booty black girl name. It you is. cannot have a name like Felicia McRae and have a small mm -hmm. ass. No, you can't. Nigga, did you see Felicia McRae ass? You shit. I just sound like that. Felicia McRae came through in here mm -hmm. with them no, booty no. shorts. Boy. Oh my god, Felicia McRae! You seen that girl in Levi's where they make the little point at the back because her booty so big? Uh, yeah. uh, Jay Ware, nineteen ninety nine, just hit us, man. Ra the Amazon just hit us with fifty dollars. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate the super chat. Super chat. Let's supernova. You're listening to this old wet morning show, the Morsh Library. I've got more books. I've got more books than you have time to read them. I want you to go get these books. Destruction of black civilization. Great issues of a... Listen, great issues of a race from 4500 B.C. to 2000 A.D. Chancellor Williams. The destruction of black civilization. I have more. I must give more. <laughs> more! I say more! <laughs> Ivan Van Serdema author. They came before Columbus. The African presence in ancient America. Sorry about that. You gotta get that book. Get it. Get it. You, get Ivan it. Van Sertima, how can you not get it that book? Gives you a full breakdown of the Moors. Okay. You under dig? You <laughs> gotta get that book. If you don't get that book, I'm gonna smack your mama. And look up his look up his lectures, his videos on YouTube too. He, he has he has a few of those. Yes, I'm gonna smack your mama. <laughs> your mama gonna get smacked. I will smack your mama backwards over something. Yes, 
You got to check out Renoko Rashidi, African mm-hmm. Presence in Early Asia. Oh, my God, this book right here. Yeah. You want to know who the original Hindus are? You want to know who the original Asians are? The, the Black Asiatic. The Nagas. The Nagas. Oh, but you know, uh, the Spanish said the word is Negro and Negro, and then they have Moro and Moreno, and then Black and Negro. <laughs> you want to stop in Spain, you bitch yep. ass, you bitch, <laughs> you weak motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm just saying, let's go. You are just channeling the wrong woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's go That's everybody's wrong woman right there, you weak motherfucker. Matthew Walker, $40 on the Super Chat. Let's Super Saiyan the Super <laughs> Chat. <laughs> no, I'm turned up right now. I'm, I'm turned up. We got callers on the line. Caller, who's on the line? What book should we be reading? Let's add to the library. What we need to be reading? Yes, hello? hello? Hell is low. Oh, oh hello. My name is Charles. I'm from um, St. Louis, Missouri. Yes. What's that? Name? Um, and I would like to recommend a book. Um, it's not in the same uh, wheelhouse as uh, the more stuff, but I like to bring up uh, George Carlin. Um, when will Jesus bring, bring the pork, the pork chops? chops? Yes, sir. Excellent mm-hmm. book. You gonna um, let him, you gonna let him? I say would it? like to read uh, <laughs> an excerpt from his book. I don't know um, if you could read an excerpt because <laughs> that's not. Yeah, you can't take a text, bro. Yeah, the passage. <laughs> Good morning. <I'm> <sighs> Yeah, Saints. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be a struggle. Bring your to greetings read. from the greater New Mountain. No, you can't. I'd like to read a but, passage out of the New King James Version. <laughs> open your hymn books and Bibles. Open your hymnal to We Shall Overcome. I do, I do realize I'm the only one in the building with a glass of ice water sweating on the outside, so I have no excuse for this spit collected in the side of my mouth that I will not wipe or drink. However... This adds to the cadence of how I speak the so divine me. words of the Lord. Yes, and if, if you think for a minute I'm going to allow my mouth to be stripped <laughs> of this white shit in the middle. Okay, I'm you want to dig? If I wipe it, I won't be able to convey the message of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> he could have said this. I thought it was just that. me. <laughs> I hate that shit. You ain't never in church and just want to run up and wrestle the pastor down and wipe his fucking mouth? Dude, you're the only one with ice water. Just, okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, but this, this one, but I just want to say this real quick and get off the line. Um, this is from George Carlin's When Would Jesus Bring the Pork Chop? There you Hello, go. Hello, we're the ones oh, to control you, your yeah, life. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to read it. Hold on. You're just going to start you reading. You're going to go and read anyway. <laughs> you're just I'm gonna, sorry. You're uh, just going to uh, read anyway. After I might we... have to ask you a personal question, sir. <laughs> And were oh, you were you raised oh, were you it. raised around like fathers and uncles? Because that's 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 not a father uncle move to just act like you're not and then keep going. That's my my my. I've had the women in my family do that, and the women who raise single men, their sons do that shit. The dudes who, uh, if I say no and you agree it's no, then nigga is no. Because if I we agree it's no, and then you keep going, well now we on some other shit. Said, Thank you for making fun of me, but I will continue to read. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn it. You tell us the name of the book, and then you get on now. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you like that Asian dude in the? Has anybody else seen the Asian dude in the relay race where he misses the one hurdle, then he misses the second hurdle, then he just says "fuck it" and just runs through the hurdles while everybody else is hurting? <laughs> That's exactly what you just did. All right, so what's the name of it real quick? Uh, George Carlin, When Will Jesus Bring the Pork Chops? Thank you, brother, man. We appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. If you want to bring in a book from your library that you have read, call us right now. The number to dial is 323-230-4445. Somebody in the chat room says, Hey, Zoe, do you think the Moors were like the boule? How so? That's a great question. Mm. I, too, find myself wrestling with such <laughs> questions. Like the boule in what way? I'm just saying, man, I'm... Ah, shit, there are... What? Wow, somebody just hit us with $100. Oh, shit. Get yeah. it, girl. Get it, girl. $100 on the chat, get, on the get, super get, chat. Get, thank get you, get thank it, you, girl. thank get, get, get. Let me just say this. Let me... I, too, find myself 
feeling. Bullish. <laughs> How so? Spirit. Be careful before you are stripped of my friendship. I, I, I know what he means. I don't. I nah, do. but it's just, know you know, like, uh, <laughs> the super chat is on fire. I appreciate everybody. Please keep hitting it. Please, 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 if you appreciate the knowledge and the information that we're sharing today. I believe that there's like a spiritual boule, and I feel like I'm I'm spiritually boule. How so? Just on some elitist shit. Yeah. I was at a I was at a relationship roundtable. Uh, Let me just tell you, I was on some I was at a relationship roundtable the other day, and I was disheartened. I'm like, you niggas is fifty plus, uh, and you still regurgitating sixteen year old relationship you. beliefs, and I felt bad. But I also had to fight uh, the feeling of condescension. I wanted to condescend. See, I don't say that. I don't say that lightly. I don't say that like it's a good thing. Right. Because it's arrogance on my part. It's ego. It's pride on my part. And stands in the way of your message, actually. At, no, no question. Yeah. And uh, my whole thought process was just listen. Don't, 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 don't say anything. Don't offer anything. Just listen. And then this dude who was sitting next to me elbowed me and was like, so you got to get in there. I know that sounds familiar (laughs) because in my mind, I was thinking if I get in there, I'm going to kill shit. It's going to fuck people because these is older people, Mm. Right. And you out here at this cigar lounge at the round table because right. it's an entertainment for you. Right. And you finna you're break not, down their spiritual car and just right. leave it by the side of the road. You're right. not really here to right. learn nothing. No. You, you here to smoke and trip right. and laugh and maybe get some pussy or, <laughs> you know. So I, I didn't, I, you know, I felt bad about contributing. But when I started to contribute, maybe I did, maybe I projected this. But the moderator, you could tell he was like, oh, fuck, it's about to get deep. This nigga reads shit. And now that it's about to get deep, I don't really, it, I don't have a purpose <laughs> being here. Right? <laughs> Everything going to shift to this nigga. Oh, well, shit. Mm-hmm. So I just said one thing and pulled back. Right. And the thing <laughs> I did say, motherfuckers was like, okay. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull a sword of light a quarter of the way out, Hing, and then get real light here and put it back. Right. So call us right now if you want to share books from your library of the hidden and lost knowledge of the black people worldwide. Moss. Now, before you get there, I gotta go to Ke- I gotta go to Jeff. Smells. Jeff he didn't answer the question. Now the Moors like the boule. Yeah, and how so? And so that was yeah. I was wondering what, maybe what he meant like that. I don't know. Is he maybe elitist. Yeah, I think so. The Moors, I think so. They were not peasants. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to speak on elitism. But I want to go to Jeff Brown's intellectual rant. We'll come back to that question. Jeff Brown. Yes, sir. Uh, let me start here. I was gonna start at the beginning, but I'm gonna start at the end and work back toward the front. Here we go. Elitism. Elitism is when I believe that I am better because my information, resources, bloodline, or upbringing is better. It doesn't change the fact that my bloodline, intelligence, choices are better. They happen to be better. If we get into a social deep, this is where me and Zoe butt heads all the fucking time, which is probably why he has the, the sword of light, and I don't. The concept that you, because you bring bullshit to an open debate, that I'm elitist for destroying your bullshit <laughs> is lost on me. You can believe whatever the fuck you want. If you want to believe in the great pumpkin, 
fine. Yes, a lot. The problem becomes when you come out the house with the great pumpkin talking about don't nobody else exist. Santa, 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 Santa Claus ain't about shit. The yeah. Easter Bunny ain't about yes, shit. Sir. Chuck E. Cheese ain't about shit. Yes, sir. Robert, Ronald McDonald ain't about shit. Burger Peach. King ain't about shit. It's the great pumpkin, nigga, and I'm banging on you what? Teach, Lord. Teach then, you don't get to hide behind the cloak of my elitism. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm saying after you hit the ball over the fence to me. Yes, sir. Nigga, just because I hit it back. Or in the words of <laughs> Jeff Brown. Yes, sir, Lord. It is not my fault when you shoot at me and I shoot back more accurate with a bigger gun. Yes, sir. That is not my fault. Yes, So. Sir. I'm I'm sorry to all of you fifty something, sixty something, ho to the boko sha, uh fifty percent uh relationship is fifty fifty, all of you with all of that, please beware of Jet Brown because I will run it up in your ass and break it off. Now y- yes. with so, regard to yes, the pastor? book you stupid <laughs> with regard to the book that Zoe brought up, that is three hundred dollars. Dear people under the sound of my voice, please understand that no book is worth what it is priced. They are all worth more. Yes, sir, Lord. Because of yes, what sir. they leave behind. Yes, sir, Pastor. Books leave behind more than the other shit you buy. Because yes. the other shit you buy just leaves behind the memories. Yes, That's all that's left. Yes. When you buy them Jordans, nigga, you're going to walk on them and remember it. Yes, sir. And then other people are going to look at you and have envy in their memories that's all you're buying is envy in the memories of others when you buy a book yes you buy a hell of a lot more watching this watching us no i'm gonna do that one last um differences were not made in the belly of slave ships nice no sir no sir the bloods the Crips, yes, the Alphas, yes. the Omegas, yes, the sir. Deltas, yes. the Boulets, the Kappas, all yes. the Kappas, the GDs, yes, the Four sir. Corner Hustlers, the Vice Lords, the, the Masons, Spinners, yes. Yes. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Cool and the Gang, Teach Run them, DMC. <laughs> Teach them, Lord, yes. All of them who have relatives who are the descendants of slaves, they was all together. It was all together. Oh, yes, sir. They didn't throw slaves yes, sir. overboard one at a time. Yes, sir. It took too much time to throw one motherfucker over, overboard. Yes, they sir. would wait until they had enough Enough. of them, sick and or dead, to put a cannonball on the end of a long chain with shackles on it and throw that some bitch over. Speak passage. Which is the term, hence the term, dead weight. Speak, Pastor. We are not here. <laughs> we are only here for you. Yes. Sir. It's not up to us. It is up to you. Yes, sir. Yes, to sir. change your mental gospel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The mental gospel. And un- <laughs> and like any church, any church worth its salt. Yes. This is not where the real shit goes down. Himalayan. Watching Jesus. this is not enough. Yes. If you quote us without fact checking, you are no better than the Christians we make fun of. That's right, Lord. That's you right. basically are no better than those who would find this a thousand years from now. Yes, sir. And make a religion of it. Dig up and Deifying Zoe yes. as the god of wisdom, Kev as the god of language, me as the god of entertainment, and Dig Timmy Tight Top as the god of push ups. You could not. <laughs> you cannot. Preach. Just take this shit. You on some bullshit right now. Pass a preach. If you do it now or ever, just quote what you hear on this show without reading it for yourself. Because yes, for all you know, without reading it for yourself, an hour before the show, we got together and made up some fucking titles. Yes, we because did. Because that's Lord. all yes. you know yes, right yes, now. Yes, we did. You Lord. don't know how good these books are, Kev. Kev knows. Kev knows. Yes, Zoe knows. Because yes. they read the fucking books. Yes, we did. We it is read. not yes, enough. Did, That's right, <laughs> It is not enough. And some Jeff. To show up here. And some Jeff. Watch. <laughs> and not apply. Yes, sir. If you going to really get out with us, mm-hmm. we just, we don't have answers. Yes, sir. 
We got a bunch of fucking questions. Oh, yes. Now take our questions and go answer them for yourselves. Oh, I'm yes. done. Yes, yes, Lord. Let me just let me just dig back into this topic. You're listening to the Zoe <laughs> Morning Show. <laughs> You're listening to the Zoe what Morning Show. Today is the Morris Library. <laughs> We're trying to refurbish uh-huh. what was stolen. What was stolen? Uh, we're trying to undo uh, a word, uh, what, was uh, what was done. We're trying to give back yeah. uh, what was stolen. My uh, Lord. We're trying to fix uh, <laughs> what was broken. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Uh, niggas in the chat room. Uh, <laughs> niggas online. Yeah. All you niggas is broken. Yeah. And now is the time. Yeah. Let me heal you. With a little piece of knowledge. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. Yes, Lord. You're regular nigga. Regular nigga. You need new information. <laughs> right, but the only way you get new information <laughs> if you go back and read some old now shit. Go back and read. Hey, now. Now go back and read. <laughs> Look at the detail. <laughs> She's confused right now. She trying to she ain't never been uh, to, a to a black church on Sunday. <laughs> uh, y'all don't want to hear me. Uh, yes, sir. You don't know uh, what it is you're looking at. Uh, oh, gee. What it is you're witnessing. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. What kind of space she occupies. Because uh, she ain't never uh, heard a black man uh, say uh, after everything. Uh, he got to say with one breath, <laughs> and then everybody ha, in the yeah. church get to see Sister Sookie's draws, because she lay down on the floor, ha, under the speaking head. in tongues, ha, yes, rolling uh, around on the carpet, ha, get up and go home, ha, and do the <laughs> same <laughs> damn shit she did last <laughs> week. <laughs> okay. okay, we're done. All right, All right so we're We back. grew up with that shit. That's... So we're back. And... We got to fuck niggas up. Hebrews, somebody in the chat room says, Hebrews are older than Moors. You would only make mm. such a statement because you swear you know what the fuck you're talking about. about. Jesus. You're dumb. Oh, my God. So. Sweetened Kool-Aid is older than unsweetened Kool-Aid. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> you the fuck out of here. You <laughs> fucking moron. The fuck out of here. Sweetened Kool-Aid is older than Nigga, the original Kool-Aid is bitter as fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, so let me help you to understand the folly of your mind. The man known as Homo Homo. Sapien, sapien, homo sapien, sapien, the wise man, the first actual human being came out of Africa. It wasn't called Africa then, you fuck. No. But that (laughs) is the birth of humanity. And he was dark. You today would call him black. Or maybe even Moorish. Sealed even. Right? Dark. He was dark. <laughs> Wesley Snipes black. Midnight dark. So he black was... if you shake salt on him, he looks like deep space. Yes. Black. Out of space black. Like a struck match. You under dear. Black. Close your eyes right now. Yes, that black. <laughs> <laughs> that Close man, that being, wasn't called a fucking Hebrew. Hebrew, Arab, <laughs> whatever. These are tribe right, names right. that are born out of cultures. Cultures are ideas. That's it. That's it. You fuckers. <laughs> a group That's of it. ideas in a particular area at a particular time is a culture. You have a start date for the term Hebrew, dumbass. It's in your Bible. Right. Damn. Damn. See, this is the shit. You son of a bitch, this is what ang- angers me with Zoe Williams right there, okay? I'm going to call him out on the carpet right now. Break down Adam and Eve. Break I'm, down I'm Genesis. Not, I'm not going to do, do it. Do it, do it, do I'm it. I'm not going to do it. I've <laughs> never heard anything like that. So I said, Hebrew is a language. Yeah. No, sorry. It is a dialect that evolved from older dialects that was later named Hebrew. Damn. Damn. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I feel sufficiently stupid, is what they say. God damn. Same with the term more. You're absolutely right. right. Now sit your ass down. 
Hebrew Shit. actually referred to the spirit inside. It means one from beyond or from one from the other side. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you got that. It's the etymology of Hebrew. Let's see it. In what language? Is it Aramaic? Is it rabbinical Hebrew? Hebrew, traditionally from an ancestral Eber. I think Eber, I, to cross I, over. I think Probably, it means canton. Yeah. canton one from, from the other Hebrew. side. That's what it says. One from the other side. Yeah, to cross <laughs> over. Yeah. For the nigga from the other side crossed over over here. Somebody Don't said Abraham it. was a motherfucking Hebrew. Yeah, because he was the first one from the other side to cross yeah. over. <laughs> that ain't no spirit <laughs> shit. That nigga was on the other side of a river and crossed river. the fuck over. Yeah. Yeah. Get your but, fucking knowledge right. Or you'll always be subject to white power. I'm Cardinal. Sorry. Cardinal Dale. And, you know, I, 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 I'm sat here, I'm sat here with you for a number of years. Now, 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 all of a sudden, you, you know, white power. That is not how you say it, white power, all right? You really want some power, and you take that fucking W out. It's white power! White power! That's how you say it. Power! There you go. Power! Now you in there. White power. Come on, man. Listen, man. Hmm? I don't mean to be cantankerous. I do. Fuck him. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to be. But God damn it, the first man that stepped his fucking black ass foot on any continent on planet Earth was black, you fucks. I don't know how to get that to it. So I'm going to tell you right now, what does that mean? That means ancient Asian history is black history. Oh, sure. Ancient Indian history is black history. Oh, ancient Polynesian history. Melanesian his it's called no, Melanesia. Melanesia. <laughs> you fucks. The very first civilization <sighs> they, who they who they call Sumerians, they called themselves Sagiga, the Sagiga, which means the dark headed one. How about it? The blackheads. <laughs> oh yeah. There was a there was two Cushes. Remember there was the Kush in Africa, which is the original name of e of Ethiopia. Right, right. Kush. Yes. Ethiopia is the European name, Ethiops, black one, which was yep. the sacred name for yep. Zeus. Right. This is Europe co-opting black knowledge. You even break, you get down into it, Europe or is named after Europa, which is the, the daughter of Phoenix, uh, okay. about it. Okay. which is a Phoenician. They, okay. he, <laughs> Phoenix was the creator or where's would you get Phoenicia from? Do you it's know from where, Phoenix. You know where y'all <laughs> getting all your pushback from? In the from chat, you in the chat. And we got them. Where you're getting all your, your, your pushback from is more than anything, more than any concept, more than any religion, more than any tradition, black people are hooked like crackheads on the dirty four letter word easy. <laughs> hooked on easy. Say more. Hooked on it. This. God let's, damn it. Let's go. How you going to come along? And tell me, and tell me that I got to unthink all this shit, Big Mama said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Yes. How you gonna tell me that I can't just go down to Food for Less? Yes. And get healthy food that yes. I might have to go out of my neighborhood to spend my money with people who look like me. Yes. That's not easy. Yeah, that's a, that's very easy. Different. It's nigga a three hundred dollar book. Nigga a three hundred dollar book. Do you know how much easier you know it much is easier to it buy is. two pair of Jordans? To buy two pair of Jordans. Because a motherfucker will see me twice. Because a motherfucker will see me, me twice and four, times. four times. He's gonna envy me, envy me for buying them. Buying them. Envy me for wearing them. Wearing. And put that envy over two pair of sneakers. Now how the fuck am I supposed to do that with a three hundred dollar book? Fuck is that's going on? not. Easy. Hold on. You got the watch. internet now. You got PDFs of all this shit. That's heat. That's heat. That's <laughs> fire. It's easy, pull man. Pull Niggas P love pull easy. A pull a PDF up. Let's do this right now. <laughs> Stolen legacy. That's the Egyptian yeah. origins of Western philosophy. Wow. Yep. Jordan Stolen James. legacy. The Egyptian origins of Western philosophy by George M. James. M. James. Can we can we can we do it? Nile Valley Civilizations by Ivan Van Serdema. Anything Un by him. <laughs> uh, anything by him. uncovering the African past. I'm only going by those that I've read. Right. Uncovering wow. the African past 
the Ivan Van Sertima papers by Renoko Rashidi. Mm. Okay. As we get late, which one, uh, uh, could you do me this? Uh Uh-uh. The last book? I'm not going to do nothing. Okay. I've I've read none of these books. I know. Uh, The last book? You've bemoaned the fact that we don't give. You're a bemoaner. Okay. (laughs) The (laughs) The last book. Oh, should be the first book you suggest they start with. I'm just going to keep hitting them with books. Yes, and then the last mm-hmm. one. Go. Uh, uh, I'm just not going to complicate it. Don't start with $300 book. Don't start with a $300 book. It's got $10 million worth of knowledge in it, and you got a $50 hit. So don't start there. Hebrew he- is Hebron, so because I believe I'm a Hebrew. I'll slap the motherfucking Isley suit off you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is an Isley suit? Motherfuckers. 100 Amazing Facts About the Negro with Complete Proof, J.A. Rogers. Oh, I, I like that one. The Isis Papers. Oh. The Keys to the Colors. Oh, Jesus. Dr. Francis mm. Cress. Welsing. Not Van Helsing, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Welsing, my niggas. You can talk about the movie with Hugh Jackman. You yeah, dig? So much knowledge out here. But you don't want to read. You want to floss. Right. You want to floss. That's why I have to keep trying to tell the Hebrew brothers, I don't want to disrespect y'all, but, <laughs> you know, I love my people. I love my people more than I love the cultures we proselytize. Mm. Come on now. I pick people over culture. And my people over all of that. You under dig? People Fuck love a culture. The culture. The culture is the conduit by which we communicate. That's it. See, in relationships, they call it the ideal standards model. Hmm. Meaning, my ideas match your ideas. So I guess that means we're compatible. Damn. Well, I guess I gotta. Uh, <laughs> I guess I gotta have the same culture as you in order for us to be on the same team. Or otherwise, you from another <laughs> tribe, and I need to kill other tribes. <laughs> other tribes aren't welcome. Bloods and Crips are tribes. Mm-hmm. Look at the murder that happens on, between bro. them. Come it on. was Krishnamurti, another more, by the way. Yep. Who said mm-hmm. it is conceptual thinking that keep men separated? A culture is a concept, you fucktard. <laughs> this is why the Muslim and the Hebrew are cousins, yet at odds. Right. Oh Same yeah, same motherfuckers. Same mother- <laughs> your family. Same motherfuckers. But at odds. <laughs> You under dig? That's because you're invested in the idea. Right. If your living power didn't give life to the dead idea, it wouldn't be a barrier between you and your brother. How about it? Shout out to the Dominicans. I'm Dominican. I'm not black. But your grandparents look like James in Florida. Okay. You fucking fucktards. Okay. Another book is uh, Dragon Legacy. That's by Nicholas DeVere. Let's keep going. Let's uh, Nicholas DeVere, the Dragon Legacy. Yeah. That book is like saying, it talks about the whole dragon lineage, lineage and all of that stuff and how they're descended from that. Ugh. And also he, his other one is Dragon Seed. And so uh, you get both of those and talks about the lineage of the dragon. And so you'll see, you'll start to put together all the, the, the dragon more. In Ancient and Modern Britons, in part two, is where they talk about where they got the concept of the dragon because we used to use gunpowder and shit on them and, and you know, we used to shoot shit, shoot, uh, you know, uh, fireballs at these motherfuckers and they thought it was, they, they equated it to being a dragon, some fire-breathing monster coming out of the sky. And so that's one of the ways they, uh, we got the, the moniker of dragon. But the phoenix, that's all about the, that goes all the way back to Phoenicians because, <clears throat> because Phoenicia is named after uh, Phoenix, who was <clears throat> the son of the king of Tyre, which was the capital city of, of Phoenicia. <clears throat> so if 
you go <laughs> you go and you, <laughs> you do all of that lineage. I mean, the the, the, the <coughs> Phoenicians are a major are a major in the history of the world, especially America. Uh, the, te- the word telephone comes from uh, telefasa, which and telefasa was the wife. Tell of the faucet. Telefasa, <laughs> she was the wife of the king of Phoenicia. So that's where you get telephone, telephone Phoenicia. So. All of that shit comes back from... I don't know if you get telephone from there. But yeah. That was a nice yeah, little a stretch. stretch. No, you do. Telefasa. You, you, you call you it telephone, get, get, you might get, you No, I hear what you're saying. You might I get mean, phonics. You might get sound. I, I get it. And then telephone from those words. But I, I think you've missed a few centuries in between. Yeah, telefasa. No, I haven't. Telefasa to telephone. <laughs> we're going to tell, call it telephasa. Because no, that bitch telephasa talk too much. Where you get fun, where you get, where you think you get phone from? <laughs> from telephasa because the bitch talk too much? Where right. do you think you get tele from? You think I'm I'm just, saying, I just, just said this like, without researching anything? Uh, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you just think I just said I, I this without researching anything? I just pull it out my head. You don't know because you didn't research. You don't know. I, I you didn't research. That's why I'm right. asking. Did you, 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 ain't asking. It. you ain't asking. You just downed it without researching. He's going to down it again, nigga. He's going to down it again. Don't down shit until you research it, nigga. Show me where you got it, nigga. Look here, nigga. Look at here, nigga. Look here, nigga. Fuck all you niggas. <laughs> Look here, nigga. Wait a minute. Fuck all you niggas. Research some shit before you fucking fuck challenge me, me, nigga. Show, show me where you got it from. Research some shit before you challenge me, nigga. Show me where you got it from, nigga. Fuck both of y'all. I'm not going to say you said fuck all you niggas. I'm, I'm going to instigate. While you say fuck all you niggas, then I say fuck all you niggas. That means me, nigga. Show me, nigga. Show you, nigga. So don't ask me that shit. You say I ain't got to show you shit. Don't tell me nothing, nigga. You know I can show you That is my favorite phrase from the ghetto. Somebody call me. To show you shit. <laughs> Just a lot of that. Somebody said it's a nerd fight. <laughs> That's right. That's hilarious. <laughs> you fucks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Zo What Morning Show. Listen, me and Kev have been doing this shit for years. Yeah. Nick Morgan. <laughs> Just drop five hours on the super chat. Look, we're getting close to the end of the show. We want to drop off a lot more books, a lot more resources. Please continue. To hit that super chat button, man. Please support this channel in the best way you know how by doing, not just saying. Kevin and I, like I said, we've been doing this shit for years, man. We've been reading and sharing books. And and Kevin's the type of nigga, and I'm, I'm the same guy. We don't like giving out books. Nope. <laughs> Like you, can, you, can, you can read through get the book. Get your own, my brother. Get your own. Right. It. You can read through the book. While you're here, while you're at the crib, <laughs> look at these two nerdy niggas, two nerdy but niggas that put them doorknobs on you. But I'm just saying, you, ain't you know, walking out the door with that book. Oh yeah, right. you read that? You read that? Oh yeah. Well, guess what? Y'all, y'all have I'm no about idea. to go home Zo, and read Zo on your ass. A, Zo got a couple books for me. Y'all understand how hard it was? <laughs> Get this nigga some books. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. came over there and stole a few books. Sure did, they a, did they come with? Did they come? Did they come with a conversation? Look here, nigga. <laughs> Hey, here's another great book that I read from Babylon to Timbuktu. Yes. Awesome. A book. History of the Ancient mm. Black That's an Races. Awesome book. Including All of y'all the get Black that. Hebrews. All of y'all get that one. By Rudolph R. R. Windsor. Oh. Now let me tell you why this is important. Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. This is this is where black people get confused. Mm-hmm. We turn the names of our civilizations into races. Right. They're not races. No. <laughs> They're cultures. Damn. They're social right. game rules. Right. Hip hop so is a culture, not a race. Right. So we turn it into a race. So you say, including the black Hebrews. <laughs> The original <laughs> Hebrews of the Bible were black, period. The original Arabs were black. You can't have Abraham, the father of both, <laughs> as a black man who had a baby with his wife's handmaid, right. Sarai, right. from Egypt. Uh, well, no, his black handmaid was Hagar yeah. from Egypt. So some Muslims say Hajar, right. Hagar. Listen, she was from Egypt. She was a princess in Egypt, according to the book. Now, is the book true? I don't know. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. What I do know is, during that time... Here's who was where. Here's who was where. Yeah. 
So that's like you going, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do the complete works of Isaac Hayes. All of this man's work. All this man's fantastic music. And you go hit it. And somebody... Da, 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 da. No, nigga, that's El DeBarge. And somebody, <laughs> somebody keeps saying... <laughs> people keep saying yeah, dumb shit. Abraham was a Hebrew. Abraham can't be a verb. Right. Well, maybe he can. Maybe he's what, just in action. Pregnant? He's just living. He's a living action. Abraham, yeah, action man. I mean, Abraham didn't. Exist. Gosh, do you see how <laughs> imprisoned you are to your belief? He did an action. Well, that means he is that. Do you hear the flaw in the logic? <laughs> because he did an action, we therefore decree that's what he is. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, somebody just hit us with $50 in the Super Chat. I learned something new every time I listen to y'all go deeper in 2019. Uh, I, I'm having difficulty pronouncing this name. Take a look at that. What is that? Okay. J-O-S-U-E? Yosue. Yosu? Yosue. Yosu de Villa? Josu de Villa. Josu de Villa? That's what, that's what it is in the hood. All right, we appreciate Joe it. Sue hey, everybody in the chat room, let me just say this. Joe Sue, go we home and ask, ask Mama you. DeVilla why she named me Joe Sue. We appreciate you all. We have five <laughs> minutes left in the show. If everybody could do a collective movement and hit that super chat, I would appreciate you. Let's make a five-minute run for Cyber Monday. Don't forget to go to my website, IamZoeWilliams.com, and pre-order your copy of the holographic relationship. We do have a release date finally for it. Get Black it, History Month. Get it. Black History Month, February. We're gonna have it all together. I just got the twenty-five chapters. We have eight venues to play, uh, vignettes to place inside the book. I just got the preface from Soren Baker. Soren Baker, man, did a hell of a job on the preface. I got. Down. So look, we got books for the last five minutes, but everybody move as a collective and hit the super to read. I don't know if you read this one, Kev. Maybe you have. Ancient Future by Wayne B. Chandler. Mm. I haven't seen it. I've heard about that book. I haven't seen it. Uh, if I may, someone says, uh, uh, and this is, I'm going I'm to call Jay Carson out. How does that fight any white, how does any of that fight white supremacy? Boy, oh boy, I wish you had asked this question an hour ago, but since you didn't. How does what fight white supremacy? He's, uh, uh, I guess what he's saying is that all of this knowledge does nothing for him now. No, 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 no. What he needs to do is beat his own ass. How about it? <laughs> How about it? Because I guess knowledge has nothing to do with strategy. Thank you. I guess knowledge has nothing to do with self-understanding. Thank you. If they took the knowledge from you, it must have been valuable. So I guess it still has nothing to do with it, your prison-minded motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> <gasps> Shit is dumb as fuck. What's this got to do with white supremacy? Well, isn't this a isn't stealing your knowledge a part of white supremacy Thank strategy? You. Okay, here's a tank. Here's some rounds. Here's some gasoline, and here's a map. What the fuck that got to do with war? No, no, okay, fucking dumbass. <laughs> and I don't mind calling you dumb. Let me tell you, <laughs> calling you dumb. Yeah, that's kind of that was kinda, feels really good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a pop in later today. To you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a pop in later today, Jay. If you check me out on Joe TV and ask me that question, Jesus Christ. Feel really good to me to call you dumb. Willie four seventeen just hit us with twenty dollars. Y'all don't wait to the last second. We got three minutes remaining in the <laughs> show. Please hit us off. Hit that super chat button. It's the little dollar sign down at the bottom of the chat room. Please continue to support this on Cyber Monday. Let me just say, sometimes you gotta stop the devil in his tracks. Our own people be trying to sideline what we trying to do. Right. We do the whole fucking show on our library, on books we've read. On the reason you come here. You know. Nah, let's just. Wait a second. You want us to read this for ourselves? 
Let's just talk shit about. Oh, wait just a fucking minute. You mean I can't just come here, listen to the shit you say, and sound smart at my fr- with my friends at parties? That's not what this is for? Right. <laughs> right. Hold on just a goddamn minute. Right. You mean you want me to go out, find a book, open it, and turn the pages and read those little markings in it? That's what I want you to Get do. Get the fuck out of here. I'll see you <laughs> next week. You. And I'm not going to give you any money. I just like to show up and listen to this smart shit. And sound I just smart want you to in front of this. my friends. And listen, this is my thing. My thing, I'm serious about this. Read all of this shit with a skeptical mind. Mm. Yeah, don't believe none of this. Oh, don't yeah. accept nothing. And don't accept the shit you've already accepted, you fucking prisoner. <laughs> your thought prisoner. Right? You thought don't prisoner. accept shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Read with skepticism. That is the height of intelligence. Mm-hmm. How many of you motherfuckers come to different channels just to have somebody tell you what to think? You are no different than you used to be, you false Christian. Wow. <laughs> Challenge it all. Don't believe nothing. Don't believe your mama. That's real, though. Don't believe shit. <laughs> I'm looking it up. You under dig? Wow. Read everything. Knowledge is not yours unless you use it. All right. I'm trying to strip (laughs) you of your ignorance, but you fight me. Why do you fight me? You fight your master. Ain't nothing in here for us to use. I just don't understand. Hey, good looking on that super chat. What is this? CJ Onyx just hit us with $20. We appreciate it, man. This was a very good day. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We don't have all the answers, but we've read some things and we want to share the information that we've read. And we hope that you appreciate this channel by showing your support. We hope that you guys enjoy the the content that we produce. Jeff, myself, Kev, Timmy, tight, top. We appreciate it, man. And I, you don't have to agree with me in order to ride with me. And I don't have to agree with you in order to ride with you. I ride with you because you're you. And I hope you ride with me because I'm me. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Zoe What Morning Show. I will see you guys.